made another big mistake. So about a year and a half ago, I found someone selling this book off of Craigslist, and I thought it was a pretty good deal from the cover photos because I knew it was low grade, and I thought probably about a 2.0 because there's just a lot of damage along the spine, yet it presents very well. However, when I got this book back, it says it's page 12 and 16 are missing. That's devastating. I think this book's going to be a 0.5. You know, when he sold it to me, he gave me the chance to look through it so that I could make sure I wanted to still buy it. And I didn't really take advantage of that because I was afraid that I would cause more damage since the pages, I think, are going to be brittle. But I guess I should have counted those pages. You know, you live, you learn. And boy, am I learning on this one. Now, thankfully, even if it comes back a 0.5, I'm really not going to be out that much money because I did get, a, I think, a good deal for it to be a 2.0. <sighs> Let's see. Womp, womp. Still, of course, it's a cool book. The first appearance, Mysterio, again, presents beautifully. I actually think it could have gotten a 3.0, you know, if uh, it hadn't been missing those pages. So quite a bummer. All right, well, hopefully these next books are a little kinder to me. First of all, we've got Swamp Thing. Well, certainly they'll be kinder to me than that one. I don't think any of these are gonna be point fives. Oh goodness, Swamp Thing number one. Try to be happy for you guys. Still, we have a seven point five. All right, a nice book. Makes me feel good compared to that one. Whew, breathe, breathe. Keep doing this video good. All right. Don't let it shake you too much. I still got to entertain you guys. Conan the Barbarian, number one. Of course, the first appearance of Conan. Let's see what we got. 5.0. That's what I thought it was when I bought it, but I was hoping the press could get it up to 5.5 or 6.0, but oh well, 5.0. All right, next up we have Doctor Strange, number 169, which is the first Doctor Strange in his solo title. And uh, this one has some chipping up here. If it was for that chip, this would be a really nice book so we'll see how much they dock us for that there is some staple migration so that could be a factor too what do we have 7.0 that's a really nice grade for this book picks me up a bit now we have incredible hulk number 102 which is kind of a companion to that book that book had been the strange tales title it was renamed dr strange as you might know, Tales to Astonish was renamed Incredible Hulk with this one, 102. So it's the first of the renumbering of the series. So this is the first issue of the second volume of the Hulk. And this book also looks super nice, but there's a good amount of color rub up here. So I do think that's going to hammer it. Uh, yeah, I would love... Anything above a 5 would be great. I think it, I think it has a good shot to get above a 5. Wow, okay, 7.5, the color up, not so bad. All right, the fates are looking down on me, smiling, because uh, what I went through on that amazing Spider-Man number 13, and we got one more, Tales of Suspense number 50, the first appearance of the Mandarin, who is a villain that I really love, and this is definitely mid-grade, there's you know, a good amount of wear, and then uh, a date written on here, and a little bit of creasing. Uh, I hope at least a four, but you know, we'll see what we get here. 5.5, all right. So after that devastating hit of The Amazing Spider-Man number 13, things settled down and we got some good grades. So overall, really happy. Obviously, learned a ton. I really need to make sure I count the pages in the books that I buy. And now I've got to decide if I even want to keep that Amazing Spider-Man number 13 or sell it because I was really hoping to sneak a 3.0 in my collection. But it does look really nice. We'll see. Obviously, if I can find a good deal on an ASM 13, I would certainly buy that and then sell this one to help pay for it. But we'll see. Well, of course, if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate if you consider doing so. Thanks for coming along with me on another roller coaster ride of opening submissions from CGC. Comment down below and tell me what's one of the biggest learning experiences you've had from this hobby. Thanks again for watching, and as always, look forward to the next one.